Welcome to Headline News 24/7. Please click like and subscribe. Trump just announced huge new rule for illegals effective now. They're not going to like it. Illegal immigration is a crisis in America and it continues to be a hot button issue as the mainstream media fans the flames with rhetoric and fake news. It is an open door for drugs, criminals, and potential terrorists that mean harm to enter the country. It is a significant strain on resources and the economy, while it adds significant costs to our judicial, healthcare, and education systems. We have people waiting to come here legally and we should not be rewarding people who have come here legally. Many have noted the similarities between the United States and the Roman Empire. It should be noted the Goth or barbarian attacks on Rome partially stemmed from a mass migration caused by the Huns' invasion of Europe in the late 4th century. The Goths had descended toward Roman territory looking for shelter. The mismanagement of Goth refugees started a chain of events that led to the collapse of one of the biggest political and military powers humankind has ever known in the defeat at Hadrianople. What was arguably the most important defeat in the history of the Roman Empire had roots in something else, a refugee crisis. President Donald Trump took to Twitter late Sunday evening in an effort to address this crisis, sending out a series of tweets calling for illegal aliens who invade the United States to be immediately deported back to their country of origin with no judges or court cases. He added that the U.S. immigration system is laughed at all over the world and is very unfair to individuals using legal avenues to gain entry. President Trump tweeted Dash. We cannot allow all of these people to invade our country. When somebody comes in, we must immediately, with no judges or court cases, bring them back from where they came. Our system is a mockery to good immigration policy and law and order. Most children come without parents. He continued in a second tweet a few minutes later, stating, Our immigration policy, laughed at all over the world, is very unfair to all of those people who have gone through the system legally and are waiting online for years. Immigration must be based on merit, we need people who will help to make America great again. Many note that while in line with fulfilling his campaign promises, President Trump's comments are sure to dump jet fuel on the bonfire of controversy created by the mainstream media and Washington establishment in an effort to distract from the utter corruption revealed in the recent Inspector General's report. The controversy began over separated illegal migrant families at the southern U.S. border, after pictures of children in cages began to circulate via social media which the left attributed to Trump's new zero-tolerance policy of enforcing Clinton, Bush, and Obama-era immigration laws. Claims are already being made that President Trump's tweets are a flat rejection of any right to seek asylum in the United States. Mercedes Schlapp, White House Director of Strategic Communications, firmly rejects that notion, stating, as we have said multiple times before, the administration does not prosecute those who seek asylum at our ports of entry. Others have brought up the fact that there are nine U.S. consulates in Mexico where asylum seekers can legally apply to be in the United States. They can also start the process of legal citizenship and are significantly less likely to be killed, raped, robbed or separated from their families like most are by cartels and traffickers when trying to cross into the United States illegally. Yet despite the reality of the fact that the so-called caged children happened under the Obama administration who is noted to have routinely separated illegal migrant families and is currently being sued for keeping children in brutal conditions, and despite the fact that Time magazine tried to pass off a fake picture of a separated migrant child, who was never separated from her mother, in a concerted effort to propagandize the Trump administration's immigration policy, which even noted hashtag fake news purveyor CNN called them out on. President Trump's Sunday tweets will undoubtedly give the mainstream media plenty of hysterical headline fodder for the next week. Rather than report on the actual news and meaningful analysis on last week's congressional testimony by Michael Horowitz, where we learned that the FBI may have tampered with evidence in the Mike Flynn investigation, or that Peter Strzok has been subpoenaed, or the fact that James Comey skipped out of congressional testimony last week, and may be subpoenaed along with former AG Loretta Lynch. What passes for news whips itself and the easily manipulated into a frenzy over the manufactured crisis of the week. Meanwhile, the House is expected to vote on House Speaker Paul Ryan's amnesty bill later this week. Rep. Bob Goodlatte's, RVA, Immigration Reform Legislation, Securing America's Future Act, was shot down on Thursday, with a vote tally of 193 to 231. Not a single Democrats voted for the bill, while 41 Republicans voted yes. That was the news. We thought you might be interested in knowing about this. Please click like and subscribe. Thank you.